I, hit I you never up. even knew what it was, what happened. It was like I hit you up to be in the video, mm-hmm. and then I was like, also you'll have like free photos with it because he was looking for people to do mm-hmm. photos, and dude was like two fifty per hour, and then we gonna have to have some type of accommodation for the photos. I'm like, who the hell does this nigga think he? <laughs> he like what? Where is yeah. Nadia? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, because I didn't understand that because like he sent me the message. And I was like, which, because he, he sent him a price before he even told him, like, hours he needed. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not trying to bash anyone or anything, but it was just like, I didn't understand that whole process. Mm-hmm. Like, how are you going to tell him a price if he never even told him hourly or anything? Like, he was looking for that little top See, and y'all something. know, and the whole point of me getting management is because I don't really know all that stuff. Like, I would, like I told y'all, I didn't grow up wanting to be doing all this. Mm-hmm. Like, it just kind of fell in my lap. So I really don't know nothing about it. So if it you leave it up to me, I'm gonna ignore everybody. I I'll get overwhelmed. I just say fuck it. I don't know yeah. what to charge. I don't know none of that. I, that's why like Destiny used to handle that. When I was an angel, she do that. He was gonna do that. So it was just like now it's me trying to focus on trying to do it for me myself, and that's the struggle. But yeah, that's what that was. I just okay. wanted yeah. motive guidance. But wait, so are you are you not an angel anymore? No. What happened with that? Um, I just decided that I needed to focus just on me. And like, sometimes it's just okay to be like, I want to be a part of this, but I have to take time to focus on me and I want to be a better person with other things in life. So I need to take my energy and put it over there. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I love this. I'll never forget this, but it's just meant for me to be over here. Mm -hmm. So are you still, are you still like a bottle girl anywhere or? Um, so I really don't focus on the bottle girl part. Like right now it's more like hostings. Like I have a lot of clubs that want me to just, like they want me to come host. A lot of them are like in Texas. So I'm gonna start traveling a lot more. I have like a flexible job. And so now like all the weekends that I would be working, Mm -hmm. I'm not working them now. So I can start kind of going other places and getting my name out there more. Um, but yeah, I don't really bottle girl anymore. It's just more like music videos, photo shoots, Hostings, things like that. Mm. So, so how much? How much? How much you get paid for for that type of stuff? So I stuck with the price of what he said. Okay. But I'm very flexible with it because it really depends. Like I do a whole bunch of shit. Like I just do promo on my page. So you know, if you want a story post, you see my story only getting like fifty a thousand fucking views or whatever. So you know, twenty dollars, whatever. I'll mm-hmm. post your shit twenty four hours. If you want my page. You see it does a lot of numbers. That's going to be 40 Like, it's reasonable. I have people with DM me fucking $150. No, never. Mm-hmm. Never am I going to do that. Wait, um, so what price did he give you? Like 250 an hour? $250 for six hours to post. Oh, and okay. you know, like with me, I'm very, like, I'm very smart when it comes to Instagram. So a page with 150,000 followers, baby, you can't fool me. If you if I go to your views on your reels and you have a, a thousand, thousand views, yeah. I'm not effing with you. Y'all yeah. gonna be messed up. You can go <laughs> to my page right now and all my views match everything. Just like my old page. This is my new page. My old page, I had 35,000 followers. That shit matched. You can hate, you can say it's fake all you want to, but the analytics don't lie. And that's the first thing you need to look at when y'all are paying for promo. And y'all ain't getting it from me, and that's why I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> okay, so now you're a free agent. And so has it been stressful, like, doing everything yourself now or no? Um, So it's been stressful, but it's been less stressful also because it's like I don't have to stress myself out because I have to be here, and I was scheduled to be here, and I have a du- uh, duty I have to fulfill, and I have to get off work and do this. Now I can be flexible. Because now is what I choose to do. Like, if I know that on Thursday I can't get off work till 9 o'clock, I'm not going to book myself to do anything on Thursday, and I know I got to be there at 10 o'clock, and I got to get off. Before that, I ain't had no choice. So I'm at work ringing customers up, doing my makeup and shit, and trying to hurry up, and I'm late now, and then I'm holding them back from doing what they was trying to do. Yeah. So now is it's less stressful with that. And I can just choose if I get overwhelmed, just stop DMing for a while. Mm-hmm. Like, when I'm ready to get back up and going, then here I am. And the opportunity of business is still there. And so where do you work now? I work at Trendsetters full time. Okay. So um, Trendsetters, and then they also have a, like a store called Chic, and I work for them seven days a week. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. What made you uh, like want to work for them? Um, It's actually very crazy. My dad, actually, I was finna lie. It was this guy I used to talk to, and <laughs> he lived in Oklahoma City, and he would always be like, trendsetters 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 like he's always there 
Then when he came to Tulsa, I told him, well, I think there's a trendsetter in Tulsa. He went there and he called me and was just like, the one in Oklahoma City, better, I'm mad. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, boy, bye. So then that's when I started like looking into it because I'm like, them clothes be throw, he be mm-hmm. putting it on or whatever. So then I told my dad about it and he said like he knew like the owner and shit. And at the time, I was trying to get back into working because I had stopped working when I started, like, getting paid from doing all the extra stuff. So I didn't work. But I was wanting to get back into getting a job. But I just wanted one close to home. That was right there. It was like, my daddy know the owners. So he pulls some strings, and I've been there for about four months. Yeah. Do you like working there? Like, you it's pre- fun. You, you prefer working than being free and doing whatever? Yeah. Yeah, so with me, I need discipline. I seen it this year. I took my year, you know, to be free and yeah. wild, and I done fucked up a whole bunch. I, I done did some bullshit. So <laughs> I'm a woman enough to know when it's time for me to go back to work. And mm-hmm. I don't have no problem doing it. I'll be right there on live, right at work. Everybody done seen it. It's chilling. I'll show you what I'm doing. Like, if you knock it, fuck it. I don't care. Everybody know. I'm one to definitely broadcast my struggles. I'm yeah. not that bitch on Instagram that's going to make it seem like shit sweet because it's far from it. And I don't want to be the reason that a little girl is crying in her bed because she feels like she just is never going to be what I am. And little does she know I was her. So I'm going to work. And I'm going to work for what I want because a nigga ain't never going to be able to tell me he bought it for me and he can take it. I've seen that too much already. It ain't going to ever happen to me. And I've always told myself that. So what's something you have uh, as motivation to like a younger audience or or younger girl who sees this and wants to be a model maybe? (laughs) So the first thing I want to say, coming from me, I was thick a year ago. I was almost 200 pounds a year ago and stress is a bitch. And like I lost a lot of weight. So when I was big, motherfuckers is always, you know, you're too big to be doing this or you need to get in the gym you need to do this this and that you can't be on my photo shoot. like I've had people literally a year ago shit I was trying to do they reaching out now because I have the look but it's like they don't understand that some photo shoots you go to they're gonna make it to where they they're gonna tell you you're too skinny for this outfit they're gonna tell you you're too big for this what's meant for you is gonna be for you if you have to force anything leave it alone Be 100% you. I don't give a fuck if you're in a room full of one thing. Be If you're the other, be that shit and stand on it because there's going to take that one person in the back corner that don't got no voice to hear you use your voice and they're going to get right behind you and they're going to let you lead them. And that's my advice. Okay, okay, okay. Got any more questions? Um, Do you plan on staying in Oklahoma? No. (laughs) <laughs> Where you want no. to go to? I'm going to go to Texas first. I'm going to start in Texas because it's close to home enough because my mama and them probably ain't going to want to go. So it's Dallas is like a good starting point. Okay. I'm out of state. That's I'm somewhere angle. else. Yeah. But I'm still close to home. So that's where I'm going to probably be in about a year or so. Yeah, that's a nice end goal, like Texas, mm-hmm. California, Florida, something like that. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, we're about to end, but I want to see if somebody texts you. Oh, <laughs> they probably didn't disappoint me. <laughs> somebody clapped at me. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hell no. They blocked. They out of line. <laughs> All right, well, y'all hear it first. <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, it's going to happen. I'm going to text you tomorrow. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, send a screenshot now for I got screen. you. Post it too. <laughs> we gonna tag them. <laughs> All right.